Guys, I'm blown away, man. I am honestly blown away with this engine. I'm here to update you at 700,000. Man, where are the rod bands are right there? Look at these guys. So this is the piston we pulled out of. This hole right there, right? It was flipped around last time I showed you, kind of showed you the walls. This is the bearings. I mean, this thing has 700,000. Is there wear? Yes. Is it 700,000 mile wear? Not really, guys. I mean, they're worn out. There's Obviously, you could see lack of material, but there's no grooving, nothing of that nature. Put it in here. Look at this, man. Would you look at that? Would you look at it? Just look at it. That is crazy. I'm honestly amused. Like, I'm amazed. Uh, obviously, my dude went ahead and degreased it, cleaned it, painted it. <laughs> you, can, you can tell he got carried away with his painting. <laughs> but this is crazy. Look how clean he got it. No, it wasn't this clean. Um, look at all that nasty stuff. So when we... These are forged rods. So when you look at them, like, there's no... Come on, buddy, folks. There's no crack there whatsoever. And you pretty much let them loose and just tap them. They come right off. You can tell. It's been loose. Anyways, man, I am amazed. I don't know if you guys can tell in my voice, but I'm honestly amazed. This is the piston that had a hole in it. But the one's cracked. Um, you know, the, the rings are loose, kind of loose. Yeah, these oil rings definitely, uh, seen better days. But keep in mind, from day one, I've owned this truck, or this engine I was in the truck. And this crank has really surprised me. We're going to go ahead and do the, the rods, the mains, and re-ring the whole thing and put another cylinder in there, piston. Um, we pulled this piston out of another engine. Here, well, I wanna give you a little sneak peek. I don't know if I ever showed you this crate. So I got a crate with a bunch of busted blocks. Uh, I think the block is busted on the other side. Kinda hard to tell, but you kinda gotta bleed me out. Oh no, you can see right there. Right there, they're just kinda missing, <laughs> missing the plug there. So this thing was, uh, leaked its oil out and pretty much threw a rod and this thing literally a uh, gentleman failed to do a proper oil change so the filter gasket was stuck on the head this is the head of the block the block i guess this part of it and he just put a new one and the driver drove till he couldn't drive no further so that's how that one went that has really low miles but it, it seized and then this guy at 466 man you guys might remember this is the engine we redid the head on and there was other issues with it so we yanked it put 34,000 mile or 36,000 mile um, engine tranny transfer case. I was lucky to find it for like 7,500. That was a steal of a deal. I honestly believe in that considering it was all assembled, one-stop one shop kind of deal. Um, what do you guys want to know about this engine? Because at this point, I feel like unless there's a specific request, I'm not going to update you guys until this thing is assembled and running. So um, was she dirty in here? Yes. Oh, something I wanted to show you those those uh the cam in there guys they are perfect like i mean seven hundred thousand perfect like it's kind of hard to to tell with poor lighting and whatnot let me see if i can find some lighting around here there's a lot going on here but i think this is where the my guys keep their oh yeah that's some lighting oh so let me show you the cam uh, for the curious ones Obviously, that one has a little specs. Man, I found the be best light around. Shoot, sorry, guys. So, I mean, you could, you understand where the push rod uh, travels on. And, man, they're just... Plunger push rod. You guys know what I'm saying. Well, those are the oil squirt. So, yeah, man, I'm fairly amused. I'm, I'm impressed. I'm blown away, to be honest with you guys. So... This truck, just uh, if you're new to the channel, this truck, in my opinion, was flat-footed all the way to the floor until she grenaded because two weeks later, the same driver, um, what the driver was fired for was uh, probably worse than this, so let's just leave it at that. Um, pretty impressed, guys. I'm pretty impressed. 
anyways like i said let me know in the comment section what all you guys want to know and go from there this is all part of that engine obviously some things are going to go back on others are just going to get replaced a lot of seals a lot of gaskets are getting replaced but um yeah for the most part the the block is, is going to be the same i kind of kind of repeated myself at this point the block's going to be the same the head because we have a reconditioned head and if we don't reuse this head this head maybe has two minutes of idle on it and just left alone so this is a parts engine so this is what the whole intention of this engine was this engine has 466 um i highly doubt we'll reuse the the lower end but part of this uh equation or should i say part of this project i did tell my guy to to look into the cylinder walls and everything if this situation is similar to that which i have a feeling high feeling it's the same because this one had plug inject uh plugged uh fuel filters to crap so i'm guessing probably one injectors let loose and burnt a hole in one of them pistons but that's a that's a video for the next time let me know guys as i said let me know what else you guys want to hear and we'll go from there all right as always may the lord bless you may almighty fine day and yes i'm excited i'm super excited about this ciao bye